Hi there, and welcome to my 2020 mock draft of the Detroit Lions. With the draft right around the corner, set to take place on April 23rd, I wanted to give my thoughts and opinions on what I think the Detroit Lions should do in this upcoming draft. I will not be doing trades in this video, as they would be too difficult to predict, but uh, if given the opportunity in the actual draft, I do believe the Lions would trade down to acquire more picks. With the third pick, I have the Lions selecting Jeff Okuda, cornerback of Ohio State. Okuda is the best corner prospect in the draft, with some even comparing him to Jalen Ramsey. Okuda is a 6'1", 205-pound cornerback with elite athleticism. Last year with the Buckeyes, he totaled 35 tackles, 2 forced fumbles, 3 interceptions, and 2 passes defended. Getting Okuda will help soften the blow of losing Darius Slay and give our cornerback room a much-needed boost. Okuda can come in day one and make an impact. He can also learn under Trufant for the next few years and take over as the one when Trufant leaves. Patricia is a big fan of having cornerbacks that can tackle, and Okuda can definitely do that too. Moving into the 35th pick in the NFL Draft, I have the Lions selecting A.J. Epinesa, defensive end out of Iowa. The Lions need pass rush as they only ranked 29th in the league last year. Epinesa is a 6'5", 275 defensive end. Last season, Epinesa totaled 49 tackles, 11 and a half sacks, and 4 forced fumbles. His combination of length, power, and explosiveness should make him a formidable pass rusher for the Detroit Lions. Pair him with Trey Flowers and Deshaun Hand, and our pass rush will improve immensely next season. With the 67th pick in the NFL Draft, I have the Lions selecting Raekwon Davis, defensive lineman out of Alabama, to once again help our defensive line. Davis is a 6'6", 310-pound defensive tackle. Raekwon is a fierce run stopper and would replace the loss of Snacks Harrison. He rarely loses ground and imposes his will on all linemen. Uh, he has the, all the tools to be successful, but hasn't put up the numbers since his sophomore season. Uh, in his sophomore season in 2017, he put up 8.5 sacks, but can, has only totaled 2 since then. At the 85th pick, the Lions are going to select Lucas Niang, guard out of TCU. Lucas Niang is a first-round talent, but has some injury concerns, which is why he's fallen this far. Niang is a large guard at 6'7", 328 pounds. He did not allow a single sack in his career at TCU and gave up only 9 pressures on 191 snaps. The Lions need help out at the guard position, and Niang can come in and compete on day one and maybe even win the spot. At pick 109, the Lions select Kayvon Wallace, safety out of Clemson. While safety isn't a huge concern for the Lions right now, Deron Harmon is an older safety and Harris didn't have a great rookie season. Wallace is a rangy, playmaking safety. In 2019, Wallace totaled 72 tackles, which led the team, two sacks, two interceptions, and a touchdown. He has some size concerns at only 5'10", 200 pounds, but his combination of leadership ability and hard hitting should help him succeed at the next level. At pick 149, the Lions are going to select Quintez Cephas, wide receiver out of Wisconsin. Cephas has some off-the-field issues, but he also has a lot of upside. At the Combine, they asked Jeff Okuda and other cornerbacks who was the toughest player to play against last season, and the consensus answer was Cephas. He's a powerful slot receiver, standing at 6'1", 205 pounds. With Amendola's contract being up next season, Cephas can sit on the bench for a year, develop, and step in next year to a major role to help the Lions out. In the 2019 season, Cephas had 59 receptions for 901 yards and 7 touchdowns, which all led the team. At the 166th selection in the NFL Draft, the Lions select Shaquille Quarterman, linebacker out of Miami, Florida. Quarterman is a coverage linebacker, which is something the Lions desperately need. He stands at 6'1", 240 pounds. Last year, Quarterman totaled 107 tackles, one sack, one forced fumble, two fumble recoveries, and five passes defended on a poor Miami defense. Quarterman can do it all, and he can come in and help contribute to the Lions if there's an injury, or he can play as a backup and special teamer. Pick 182, the Lions select Tyler Huntley, quarterback out of Utah. Huntley is a 6'1", 205-pound quarterback with scrambling ability. His production jumped in 2019 as he led Utah to an 11-3 record. He has a strong arm and can be a developmental quarterback for the Lions. In 2019... Huntley completed 220 passes for 3,092 yards and 19 touchdowns while only throwing four interceptions. With the final selection for the Detroit Lions this season, at pick 235, the Lions select DJ Dallas, running back out of Miami, Florida. Dallas is only a 5'10", 217 pound back, but he can be a threat in both the ground and passing game. Um, last season... 
last season, Dallas had 115 attempts on the ground for 639 yards and 8 touchdowns. He also received 14 balls for 140 yards and 2 touchdowns. And that is my 7-round mock draft for the Detroit Lions for the 2020 NFL Draft. I believe all of these rookies can come in and have a, a role to play or at least compete for a role in the near future. And uh, I guess we'll see what happens come April 23rd. Thanks.